Hello folks, this is Huskano Spy, the Spy. We're coming back to you live for the Ultimate Alliance. Finally, it's been a long time coming since I had to do those other things that I need that's been brought to my attention, and amongst other things. But without further ado, let's get this started. Now, previously from the Ultimate Alliance that it was a hard battle of that hard mission, and I was forced to choose which the accident is that I should save, and the fact, and then go after Mephisto in the Hell's Realm. I chose Jean Grey. Um, I chose to save Kurt, but then the cage of Jean Grey fell, and then she died. Or supposed to be, it seems that Mephisto was able to bar back to life, but not before doing a twist of his deals like usual with he, what he has done. So, um, during that battle, we had to have uh, fixed the puzzle of, of setting Jean Grey free and to free her from that spell that Mephisto put on her. It took everything that we had to set her free, but after she was break free from the spell, she decided to sacrifice herself to destroy Mephisto and save us. Before she died, she asked of us to give her regards and goodbyes to the X-Men, to her husband, Scott, and then to her ex-boyfriend, Wolverine. Needless to say, I imagine that the news will be hard to sorrow to the X-Men. Kurt blames himself for not being able to do anything to save her. So, now before um, we get to the training simulation, we need to... We're still in mourning of sorrow of Jane Grey's lost. Greetings. You say to you? I apologize for not giving you my full attention. Using Cerebro to locate Nightcrawler requires a great deal of effort. Well, we're able to find any luck on him? Yes. Thank You're you. quite welcome. What may I do for you? It is a pleasure to be of service. Hi, what can I do for you? You know me, I'm just here to help. So far, Xavier and Wong and Hank said nothing about what happened. Hello, and welcome back from Murder World. Come back any... This next mission is going to be almost difficult yet, but to save Nightcrawler's life, and to find out what the Masters of Evil are doing. You are quite welcome. When you're done here, you have to get to Asgard. Use the Orb of Teleportation when you're ready to go. Yes. I should mention that Mephisto said something about the Masters of Evil and Doctor Doom going to Asgard with the Twilight Sword. We don't know uh, what Doom is planning to do in Asgard, but it's not going to be anywhere good. Why exactly would the Masters of Evil go to the Mephisto's realm? I don't know. It makes no sense. Mephisto and Doom have been enemies a long time. Why are they enemies? For years, on every Midsummer's Eve, Dr. Doom attempted to invade Mephisto's realm and retrieve his mother. 
Doom's mother is in the store's room. When Doom was very young, his mother made a pact with Mephisto. She promised her astral spirit in return for the power to destroy a baron who was impoverishing her people. And the deal didn't go as planned. Right. She couldn't control the power and wound up killing almost everyone in her village. She died shortly after and became a prisoner of Mephisto. Was she a freak? Yes. Oddly enough, Doctor Doom and Doctor Strange teamed up and went to Mephisto's realm. Together, they freed Cynthia Von Doom. Is this still the reason why the Tom of series that was taken from that Atlantis the purpose? Without a doubt. The Tome of Viserys listed the coordinates of Mephisto's realm. With that information, Doom could properly attune Nightcrawler's teleportation portal. Thank you, Colonel. Anytime. Let's go upstairs. What's going on? Just did it for the uh -huh. Seems to me they're not anyone's not going to be able to re be ready to talk about what happened. But just to be sure. We must be truly wary of before we have this conversation. I would warn I already had this conversation. Your Hello. I've already had this conversation. My pleasure. Hello. What's... I've already had this conversation. Sure thing. Yeah, I gotta say, Mephisto's realm is not on the top of my must-see vacation spots. Yeah, I can tell. The last time and Dad, we went there with you, you looked like you were sweating to death and you told me about... Your eyes supposed not to be able to work in that realm. If you need anything else, I'll just be here chilling. Well, it seems to me that everyone's not uh, in a good mood to be talking about this. Honestly, uh, so don't blame them. Well. Alright, before we do anything else, however. I'm going to need to, to check on to see if the team, if the, if the Justice Springers uh, have been level up. Ah. Good news. Very good news. <laughs> I must say, this is surprising. The level up must have been high, eh, yeah, Dad? Well, it must have been high enough for us to be able to get two points. Okay, the first point. <laughs> this is so tempting. I, I honestly don't know what to do with these three points. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. Okay, first point is obviously going to go to the max energy. <laughs> All right. I'm just going to just wing it. I'm just going to add. Uh, it's just, it's so tempting to do this. I mean, if I do two points on it, I would gain four slots of more members. Nah, I'm just going to do this. And with that, okay, here, ladies and gentlemen, um, with this, I get just gain two new slots. <laughs> okay, so who should I pick? Who should I pick to be in this low joint? All right, I already got Daredevil, Miss Marvel, Luke Cage, Wolverine. Going to see if I can go with the invisible woman. All right, you got it. Invisible woman is 
is the new member of the Justice Bringers. Since her experience of combat abilities with is going to be awesome. Okay, now the next one. All right, I'm just going to just make things better. Deadpool. That's right, folks. Deadpool, the Invisible Woman, are the two members of the Justice Bringers. Now, I only got about two more slots left, and then the, the company of this team will be complete. I gotta say, this is a pretty exciting. <laughs> Alright, just uh, give me a heads up if you like my choices. If you do like my choices. Because I know that people really do love seeing Deadpool in action and pretty much wanted to make sure that he said the Justice Bringers, that some people would. I also know that there that some people really do like the Invisible Woman one to be in this team, so Yeah, so um Anyways, um I will be um getting this remote um, um no. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty excited to see who else is going to be joining this little party. All right, I can think of a few a few people that could join. Captain America. Ms. Marvel. Invisible Woman. Alrighty. Deadpool. Yeah, I'm liking this uh, team already. Alright, just uh, just remember folks, um, I only got about two slots, so if you want to put a vote on who should be the new next member of the Justice Bringers, you better give me a shout out and a heads up if you got some ideas. Anyway, to me be making in this totally fair, um, the next two points if I'm going to get it will have to be a different point, just so to give you guys some time. Uh, who the hell I'm saying? Um, if I do get a next point, I will, will most definitely put this on. If I do somehow get two points, I'll make it fair by making sure that your choices are not to be taken so likely. Yeah. This is going to be good for now. Yeah, liking this already. Yeah, this should be good. Watch each other's back. If we're going to do a training simulation, we're going to need to do it in a different place. Unfortunately, since we're going to Asgard, we're going to need something a little bit more oomph. If you guys catch my drift. going to be using the orbital teleportation. I'll be you guys now listen up. I know all of you are still grieving about what happened to Jean Grey, and I'm sorry for what has been done to her. If I could go go back, I would change it. 
I would change it so I can not just save card, but also her as well. If I had the means, I would use it. But... I don't. I can't change what's been said and done. But... I had to believe that one day that... That somehow, a miracle, that in some way, that she would be brought back to life. That the X-Men would find a way, in their own terms. can't change what happened. I am sorry that some of you guys are mourning of what happened to Jean, but if we don't continue this mission, if we don't stop the masters of evil, more lives will be lost. Jean Grey had uh, sacrificed her life to make sure that we get this opportunity, to make sure we have a chance. We can't fail her, or the X-Men, or with the sacrifice she has committed. If we don't do this now, we'll lose more lives. Wherever the Master people was pointing at Asgard, it won't be anywhere good. I know that the Asgardians will take care of themselves because of what Thor told us about the stories about the Asgardians being Asgards themselves, but... Knowing Doctor Doom, and with the Twilight Sword in his hands, it won't be anywhere good. No matter what, we had to stop it. The Masters of Evil at Asgard. We're taking the fight. They're taking the fight to the Asgardian homeworld. The, the Asgardian realm, the realms. Now, let's make sure that we save Asgard and stop Doom's plans once and for all. Justice Bringers, assemble and let's go! Soldiers? Long have I been denied my rightful place. But now, I have the power to take it! This is why they stole the Super Soldier Serum. They wanted to use the Super Soldier Serum to wage war in Asgard. It's always been part of the plan. Damn it, I'm so stupid! This is the cause! This isn't good. Oh man. <laughs> Not for long, Loki. Not anything, not what your brother Thor has said anything about it. Look around you, team. We're standing in a land very few humans have ever seen. This is the world known as Valhalla. It's where brave Asgardian warriors go when they die. Yeah, and rest in peace, good guard, Asgardian guard. Understand that the only reason we're allowed to make headquarters here is because Asgard has fallen, and they need our help to defeat Doom. Damn it. I know that the situation just gone worse, but I didn't think it would have gone that bad. Okay, Nick Fury, what can we do to help the Asgardians? Right now, we have two possible missions. First, 
the gate of the Bifrost Bridge has been locked and needs to be opened. Second, many of the gods are being held prisoner in Asgard. Prisoners? Are you certain of it? For more information on freeing the prisoners, talk to Lady Sif. To find out about the Bifrost Bridge, talk to Hermod. If you're ready to start now, take the path to Asgard or the portal to Bifrost. Interesting choices. Sounds like we're going to need to be ready for our mission here. The mission of Asgard to save it. And the yeah, save the Asgardian prisoners starts now. And that's pretty much what I can on this video, folks. And we'll be right back after these messages tonight.